Well, welcome to the view. Welcome to the view. With special guest star Madonna. And her <laughs> hand. Madonna is here. Madonna, move, move, move out of the camera. Okay, okay, thank you. You're done. Well, yes, she's we'll, uh, we'll, she's running the camera today. Yes. Of course, on break. You go on break, and Madonna is thank you, Madonna. And we will get back to her in a moment. Um, but first, we're going to talk about Kayvon's and Kenny Kenny's party last night that Ernie went to. Yeah, well, it wasn't last night. It was Thursday night. Uh, Kenny Kenny and Kayvon Zan launched a new party at Good Room in Greenpoint. Well, it was last night. night because we had dinner with Manny and Sylvie and you. Mm, that was last night and the night before. Oh, oh, last. They're, you know, all of our evenings oh, are they're just yeah. kind of blurring yeah, it's together. Blurring together yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so it was really fun. Oh, yeah, uh, it was actually when? <laughs> Thursday night. Oh yeah, Thursday, not last night. Okay. No. <laughs> not last night. Not last night. <laughs> so, uh, so let's... <laughs> well, here's some video from it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't that look like fun? I don't know. Did it? Uh, yes, it did. It, did. it actually did look like a lot of fun. Um, I, uh, you know, was it crowded? Oh. Uh, it was, well, it was freezing cold that night. It was very hard to get people to come out, but they had a, a, a good turnout considering it was their first I night, know. and I hope it can only grow from was there. It cold or kind of just goes down and was always crowded. Uh, not, it was not always crowded. There were times where you were fearing that you know Peter was going to just like cancel the whole thing. Well, in the I, early I days. Remember any? Oh, in the early days. Yeah. I, well, that's as is the early days for cable. Well, but things are sped up now. No. We don't have time for early days. <laughs> okay. There are no such thing as early days. One thing I'll say about uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Good Room's history, one of our former guests, Steve Lewis, actually designed the interior of the club, and I thought it was really interesting because. Uh, there were uh, lots of bars and cage-like uh, decorations inside. That doesn't sound like a good room to me. <laughs> no, it sounds like a prison room. Yeah, which is that's a bad room. Where uh, Steve spent some time. So I think he got some inspiration for the club design from well, his I hope something good period of came out of that. Yes, something good came out of it. Good room. Good room. And um, so I hope their party continues um, until I'm past my curfew so that I can go see it. Yeah. And speaking of something that... Uh, we'll send you to prison. Uh, Michael wanted to talk about Molly versus Ecstasy. And I will do that right after this break. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the Pew! Welcome back. Welcome back to you. And we are debating the merits of Ecstasy versus Molly. Well, for the first thing I will say to that is that there is no such thing as ecstasy versus Molly. This is something that started when I was in prison, these conversations, because there is this weird myth, urban legend, I guess, kind of, that ecstasy is made out of cocaine, heroin, crystal meth, and uh, angel dust, mm. which I don't know, I mean, like, I don't even know who, but it, they really, they genuinely believe it. Even uh, my friend, uh, Trist, Trist, you know who, <laughs> thinks that. And um, we, so we had this conversation, conversation. I explained to him that no, ecstasy is MDMA, methadextal methamphetamine or whatever. And uh, he then told me, well, then they're cutting it with ketamine and everything. And that's why the people who were selling the MDMA got upset because the People, nobody wanted to buy ecstasy anymore because it was lace and everything, so they rebranded it and called it Molly, which stands for molecule. What, it's the molecule of MDMA and it's supposed to be pure MDMA. And people think that Molly and ecstasy are different things and they're not. I mean, if ecstasy is, you know, 
special K and PCP and cocaine, then yes, they're different. But they're not. Ecstasy is, Molly is what ecstasy is supposed to be. Got that? Got that? <laughs> yeah, I should have. Because this is a lot of no. <laughs> Bitches want to know. <laughs> okay, what do they want to know? Uh, from Twitter, we got a message from DMO at uh, Soul Kalachi, and uh, that person wants to know when Kenny Kenny is going to that be I, interviewing on our show. And I, we actually had a conversation with Kenny about uh, the pew on when I went to his party uh, last week. And he, the first thing he said to me is, I don't want to be on the pew. Why wouldn't you want to be on the pew? I don't know. I want him to be on the pew. You know, it was hard to say why. I and, and, you know, we were on the dance floor, it was loud, so I didn't really have the opportunity to get into details about why he didn't want to be on the pew. And I, and I wasn't sure how to interpret that statement either, because he says that he watches the pew. And uh, so I was even afraid to take a picture of him, although I'm going to flash a picture of me and Kenny on the screen right now. I, Not taken by me, though, because he said he didn't want to be on the picture. I'm going to call him when I would ask him. Uh, well, his one thing he did say is that you could have called him the moment you came out of prison, and it's been months. Well, I was told that he didn't want me to call him because he's upset that he was he, invited to that dinner party. No, I think he would like you to call him. Well, I'm going to call him then. He doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that that's what happened with Michael Musa, right? <laughs> you know that story? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want to know it? Uh, yes, say it fast. Okay. Well, well, I don't know how fast I can say it. Um, he was upset because um, when I came home, he wanted to do an interview, and every day, for the first seven days I was home, he did a uh, story about me that would, kept getting progressively worse each day. And he told Stephen Lewis that um, the, the articles were going to get worse and worse and worse until I talked to him. So, but I couldn't talk to him because I had that deal with the New York Times, right. and so we told him that. So the minute the deal was over, after the seven days, we went, and um, Esther, I think, or somebody called him and said, okay, now Michael can talk to you, and he said, I don't think anybody really cares about my <laughs> He said, I, I, well, I'm not going to write anything about it. <laughs> well, I hope that's not Kenny Kenny's attitude, because we really want you. Yes, we do. We, I, not, but not only do we, and we want to hang out with DMO you. DMO that so and the public so the, the, is more importantly, the people out there in the dark. <laughs> See you next time. Hey, bye.